Hey, what's up everyone, Ollie here. So I've already covered my M1 Mac setup with my monitor arm in my workspace video. I've sort of gone through it very quickly. You guys can check that out if you haven't seen it already. I go through my whole workspace setup, but I wanted to do a more sort of dedicated video on the setup itself, my M1 Mac, the sort of monitor mount and arm and stuff that I'm using and the display itself. So the main reason I wanted to go for the monitor arm was to free up desk space. The monitor itself has quite a large stand and the laptop, of course, when it's sitting on the desk, it just takes up space. I wanted to free up that space because my desk is quite shallow and I like having my monitor and my laptop quite close to me. And this was a good way to go about it. In the box, you get the one pole, you get two arms, you get two visa mounts and you get the laptop tray. There's also included cable management accessories, which is great because obviously there's going to be a lot of cables. Managing them, making sure you don't see them is a fantastic way to make sure you have a clean setup. The laptop tray simply attaches via a visa mount, which means technically you could remove the laptop tray and add another monitor if you like, giving you a dual monitor setup. The pole itself comes with a standard screw clamp and thankfully they do include padding so that you can put it in the clamp itself so it doesn't damage your desk. This is obviously very important for anyone who might have a nice walnut desk like I do. You don't want to scratch it, you don't want to damage it. Having that padding is great. Setting it all up is actually really easy and once you have the monitor mounted you can actually rotate it if you like, if you like having portrait displays. I found the amount of movement for the arms is adequate and smooth. It'll be good enough for most people, especially considering that most people's setup are quite static anyway. Taking into consideration the price, which is less than $50, I am actually really impressed by the build quality. It's definitely very sturdy, solid enough where it can hold up the monitor and laptop tray. I'm very confident that it won't just fall apart. So yeah, I'm very impressed. The all black finish is nice too. It matches my aesthetic, but it does scratch quite easily. I think it looks great. I'm really happy with the setup right now and it's helped me achieve that sort of clean and minimal look that I'm trying to go for. The monitor I'm using is the LG 5K Ultra Fine Display. It's been out for quite a few years now. Now I'll admit, it is not a good looking monitor. I'd say it's actually quite standard and boring looking. The bezels themselves are really thick. The monitor itself is quite thick and it's also quite heavy. It's not the best looking monitor but it's the only monitor out right now that actually sports a 5K resolution. It's apparently the same display that you get in the 5K iMac. And because I was using a 5K iMac before, I really wanted another 5K display, so I went with this one. The resolution is 5120 by 2880, which is exactly double 2560, 1440, which means it has a fantastic pixel density. I don't think there are actually any other monitors out there with a pixel density as good. It's ideal for my type of work. I do design work, photo editing and video editing. Another great benefit is that I only need one cable between the MacBook and the display because power and data is all done through this one cable. It can charge my MacBook fine, power my MacBook fine, and it can also power the display. So yeah, fantastic way just to have a one cable set up. There's also a built-in hub in the monitor itself. There are additional USB-C ports on the back which you can use for USB accessories. I have a dongle just connected there so that I can have constant ethernet connection and connect my SD card and things like that. Fantastic way just to add more ports to the already quite limiting M1 MacBook Pro. I really wish there were alternatives I'm really surprised that manufacturers haven't come up with 5K or 6K displays to compete against the LG 5K display and Apple's Pro Display XDR. It's crazy to me. I feel like once you start using these high resolution monitors, you, you just don't want to go back. I completely understand when people say, but hey, you don't have any 5K content or you don't have any 6K content. What's the point of a, a 5K display or a 6K display? So the main reason you want a high resolution display is because you have more work area. This is ideal when you're designing websites, when you're coding websites, when you're photo editing, when you're video editing, being able to have your timeline, but then at the same time have the actual 4K footage in full resolution on your display is fantastic. It just makes the sort of creative process much better. There are rumors that Apple are going to be releasing their own displays this year, and I'm really hoping they release a cheaper alternative to the Pro Display XDR. If they don't though, I might be tempted to upgrade to the Pro Display XDR, but we'll see, we'll see about that. We'll see what happens. Other than that, I'm actually really happy with my setup. I really like the way it looks. It gives me that clean and minimal look I want. It gives me more desk area. It's great, it works really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.